Well, hello, everybody. This is pre-show. Uh, let me, I think that music might be just a tad loud. So let me turn that down a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit down. That should be a little bit better on the music. Let's see. I'm in pre-show. I haven't done a show in a while since last year, actually, on the, uh, the computer, at least. Uh, my name is Roger Kreisling. We'll be starting here pretty soon. I don't know if my moderator will make it in uh, tonight. Uh, they are running a bit behind schedule, I think. All right, so let's first see how I sound. Let's see if the volume is too loud or if it sounds okay. Uh, hasn't quite made it to my network here. Okay, hold on a second. Checking Twitch. It should go live here. It takes a moment to catch up sometimes. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, it's still starting to load, so I'll give it just a bit more time. But I think we are going through okay. I don't see any drop frames or signal drama whatsoever. And the chat. Oh, let's check the chat. That's... That's the thing. Let's go D live to check the chat. I normally go to D live because it's only live when I'm streaming. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, let's see here. D live. Let's see if I, I'm streaming there or not. Profile. Uh, it's been a while. My channel. Here we go. Yes, I believe I am streaming here. So let's say hello and see if it works. All right, it is working. So let's turn the volume up. So let's say hello and see if it works. Music is still just a tad right, too working. loud. So let's turn the volume up. So let's say hello and see if it works. Music is still just a tad right, too loud. So let's turn the volume up. So let's say hello. Takes a moment to catch up, guys. Takes a moment to catch up. All right, we're getting some feedback too, but uh, I did turn the music down a little bit, and because uh, I think it was just a little bit too loud. Um, all right, well, we are almost to showtime. What time is it? Oh, we got two minutes or so. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself propped up in the chair, and I've had my coffee. Tonight's show should be pretty good. Hey, out of here. My dog wants my attention, and my employee is nowhere to be found. She's going to bother me most of the show, probably. I have an easy dog remedy. <laughs> have a little bit of a breeze around. That'll get rid of your dog really quick. Uh, I just don't want Betty Boop jumping all over me while I'm trying to do my show. All right, guys. Well, we are reconnecting. We are disconnected again. Mm. Attempting to reconnect a few seconds ago. That is not good. Stream is offline. Darn, why are we offline? All right, maybe we are reconnecting. It looks like we have reconnected. Let's try again. All right, I think we were disconnected and now we are reconnected. Let me test. Yeah, I, I, I've been having a little bit of drama with all of my streaming and, and software. Well, we are back live. So we disconnected and reconnected. So if someone's watching the first stream on certain networks, they're gonna say, oh, the show's over. <laughs> But we did get streaming back through, but we did disconnect and reconnect. That's very strange. I didn't have drop frames or anything. 
that means it's probably a network issue. Well, that means that we are exactly starting on time instead of a couple minutes early like I was trying to do. So let's go ahead and do our little pre-show thingy. Uh, it's just my little intro and then we'll get the show going. Welcome. The Helpful Tips Show is on at 7 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday on the Key Web Co. YouTube channel. I am your host, Roger Kaiserling, owner of Key Web Co., where we make websites, we have social media feeds. As a matter of fact, we have our daily edition newspaper you should check out, new every 24 hours. We have Ecom Tips Podcast, where we transmit our daily Facebook Live show and our Tuesday and Thursday show. You're always welcome to check out keywebco.net and keywebco.com for great shopping and so much more. I'm glad you are here with us today at Helpful Tips via Ecom Tips Podcast. We have many shows and we even have apps. Check out our Recipes for You app. It's awesome and we're glad you're here. Welcome. All right, guys, we are back. This is the beginning of the show. Um, I, that was a little rough of an interchange. I forgot that uh, I had uh, my music thing to set to end instead of replay the beginning where the music would have continued. But we're going to go ahead and start the show anyway, even though that transition wasn't too great. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping my moderator makes it in tonight, but she not, may not make it. She's got some major stuff going on. So what we're going to do, we are going to skim through here. We're going to have a great show if you have any questions now or in the future. Now, what I mean by now in the future, you'll understand as we get this show going. I am about ready to share some majorly awesome stuff that I have been up to since last year. As a matter of fact, you're not even going to recognize most of my businesses or anything else for that matter that I am up to. Uh, I am going to, oh, let me go ahead and put the, the link in here. I am on D live, uh, and they do let me put the links in. So, but I am going to share with you right now, the site that you're seeing all this information scroll in front of you on the screen, uh, where all that's located. Uh, it, there's two sites, but, uh, this is the first one. Ah, Perfect Finds, I believe, made it in. You did make it. I thought you were running behind. I'm glad you made it in. I hope everything's going well with you today. All right, the other site, uh, which, by the way, I am still having a little bit of issue with... Uh, uh, hold on. I'm going to give you the long address because I, I don't want anyone to click a link and it not work. That That's really annoying. When you, when you go on someone's site and they say, oh, here, check this out. And you click it and it doesn't do anything. Oh, that just ticks me off. But I don't want you guys to go through that. So I'm going to give you this big, long, huge, super long ULR. Uh, but it's actually keywebco.com. But I'm going to give you the long one just in case uh, I am still having issues. Uh, it's not a major issue. It's real hard for me to do this here while I'm trying to do my show. Um, see, I have a hard time typing and talking at the same time. And I did a typo already. I'm a visual learner, so when I, I'm looking at something, my, my voice does not want to work. And this is a really long address and I have really old vision <laughs> there that should work that should work everything's good with you that's great that's great now I'm going to go ahead and put in key web co that does not take me but a second to do without the ULR stuff and we'll see if that link actually works I'll test it. it's underlined so that might actually work well Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I'm not going to make you watch this uh, screen too much longer. Let's just go on to the next screen. You guys have all heard me talk about what Key Web Co. does. If not, it's real easy. Just go to my sites, look at the menu, 
everything's in the menu now by the way perfect finds you need to check out my sites as we do this if you can do it you can even do it on your phone but you're not going to get the full impact my site now renders pretty good i still have a little bit of screen adjustments to do but it renders pretty good on mobile but on the pc oh boy it's kind of neat all right so this is going on in the background all the time at keywebco.com and keywebco.net as a matter of fact i'm talking about my sites for a specific reason as we go through these windows uh, i'm going to tell you some of the things that are available uh, there i'm going to talk about why it's made the way it is i'm also going to talk a little bit about how i did some of the things just in case you're curious so that background that you're seeing run there that is my oldest mind you my oldest graphic after i upgraded to the draco dragon after i purchased that from the artist originally i did all of the essential visual work but the animation i had done because i didn't know how to do it back then now i just use an app i paid 25 dollars for each one of these when you see it change from a major transition into another type of transition so i think i paid oh it was like 75 85 dollars because i got a discount well all of these things i can do myself now on apps and by the way i'm not going to be charging people huge buckets of money to teach them what i got charged quite a bit of money for in the first place so i have a way that you can learn these things kind of by study in my blogs and apps and things that I have available. You'll be right back. Okay, awesome. But the other way that uh, you can get it, we will talk about further on. It's about helpful tips. You're going to see helpful tips mentioned quite a bit because I now have changed it. It's a page that you, uh, it costs $5. No matter what it is, it's $5. You pay five dollars and then you have membership to the page it's a one-time thing you just pay the five dollars but the reason you pay it is because i was giving away huge amounts of secrets and things that gurus charge buckets of money for for years and i can't just keep doing that because i need to get something out of all my expertise because i you know i've given away millions of dollars worth of stuff if you really want to add it up over 12 14 years of helping people and I don't mind that I, I still do it but the way I do it now is I charge a little fee so you have access to something that you can chat with me directly even though you can always scroll down to the bottom of my page and access my general lobby only members or people that have subscribed have access to that page so it's a little bit more private also all the things that you will ever need for any of my website services or anything else for that matter that qwebco does except for selling products um, is represented in the one listing that has multivaries which still needs better writing the writing for that is just a bunch of junk right now <laughs> literally my listing is a bunch of junk it, it's all right you can follow it you could actually buy it and get websites and stuff it's clear enough at the beginning for that but all of the second part where it talks about making websites that's just some stuff i put in there because i am writing it up so no matter what you want done it's very easy to see okay i want graphics this is what i have to do i want a basic website i want a free website and i've kind of written those steps up above it uh, but uh, it's really really important that that particular thing my website services section because that's if you look at my keywebco.net and keywebco.com you'll notice all this stuff floating on top of that video that you see in the background that's html code in my headers and footers the only part of my website that is actually what you would call a normal web page are the little white boxes that are uh, it's at the top of keywebco.net and it's almost at the bottom so to speak of keywebco.com 
and they're the same, but they're little, little, little variations. What's important is that big blue box with all those links in there. It's got all the stores, it's got all the blogs, the apps, everything that I offer. But the most important link in there we're going to get to, we're going to talk about this helpful tips thing. Let's move out of this window. You guys are probably tired of seeing that. Uh, by the way, we're going to keep talking, but this is where you can drop your social links in. Uh, any social link, business link. If you are watching either during my live streams or after, as long as you're not just selling a pair of sunglasses, meaning not just putting an individual listing in your for sale to spam me, as long as it's your business, your whole business, that's great. I don't want to have to bother to look you up. You probably don't want to have to bother to look most people up either. That's why I always put my links in. You all can do the same thing. I don't care what it is, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever you feel like sharing, as long as we can click it and find out a little bit about you so I know who's watching the show and you can get a little free press. Just don't sell items. So that's my little spiel about the social media. So back to it. So this website pack or website service, there are two sites, but they're really the same. <coughs> that's really except for Macari and Poshmark. Basically, that's all that I am doing in my office, so to speak, in my offices. That is all I am doing. I'm making websites. Uh, I'm running some blogs, but not too many of those. Uh, I'm doing uh, graphics and marketing, selling advertising space, even on my pages and marketing. I have my daily edition paper that's got an eBay ad in there. Of course, it goes to my store now, but I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to actually sell that advertising space because I have thousands of people that read that and use the content from there. So my business has changed. I'm not, I still, if I see a deal that I can buy and resell, I still do it, but I'm moving it actually on places like Macari or flipping it to people I know or putting it on Poshmark. And I have so much inventory, I don't ever have to buy anything for a long time. So since I'm not investing in products, what I'm investing is my own training and skills. And that is something that I've been investing in for a very, very, very long time. And I help other people and I have for a very, very, very long time. So all the primary features, all the primary features that uh, I have are available on the Helpful Tips page. Now, this is my video chat sloppy. We're going to get off that Helpful Tips thing. We're going to go back into that a little later again in the show. My video chat lobby is simple as pie. It's a little confusing because it's new. You probably haven't used anything like this since really the old AOL days. It reminds me of the old AOL chat rooms, which I absolutely loved because you can click on the person and you can have a little private pop up. And then if another person is in there talking to, well, you can click on their button and you can move their little chat right next to the other one. And let's say there's a third or fourth person in there. You could have as many of those little pop-ups as you want. And I miss the days to be able to gossip in between without it all being public and having to jump between screens on a whole bunch of Facebook pages. So you can have all your little chats all popped up in one little place <laughs> like the old AOL. But that's not the advantage of it really so much. The advantage is it's video and I can put YouTubes in it. It's video conferencing for anyone who wants to use it at any time and you'd be using the lobby now I have it set that you guys can make your own rooms but I haven't trained anybody how to do it they the company that I use because this is all embedded in my site guys this is really cool um, the company that I use has really no YouTube how to training videos whatsoever and I can do them, but my YouTube training videos for these kind of things are normally just like what you're seeing on the screen there. A screenshot, some words telling you about it, and me talking. Well, for people to really understand how to use these things, I want them professionally done. So I am nagging the people that own the uh, 
company to try to make some decent YouTubes. Even if it is just a, uh, you know, where they do the screen and they talk and they say, well, first you do this and then you do that. Because it needs some sort of little training video. So if a member comes in there, they like, oh, I want to do a private chat room with my friend. Doesn't even have to be me. Then what you do is you create a room. I'm telling you how to do it without really telling you how to do it. You can figure it out. But you create a room and then you invite the other, and it has a password. You set it for a password. Then you invite the other person. You give them the password in the little pop-up private chat. So when they join the room, they go to the room list that you've created. You just click it and there's a room list that are on my page. And the room that you've created, they just click to join it, enter their password. And unless the person has the password, no one can get in there. So then you could video conference, do whatever you want. And then when you're done, well, as soon as you guys are leaving the room and it's empty, within a few minutes, eh, maybe 20 minutes, it gives a little time in case you guys log back in uh, or get disconnected and go back in, then it all disappears forever. It's gone nothing is recorded so that is kind of cool hey perfect fine so i'm talking about the video chat lobby because it's really important with my business and it'll eventually be important to all of yours well the reason this embed code lobby that has video conferencing and this is this is the beginning of something that's going to be much larger let me just tell you that if you notice on Strikingly, I have the little circle at the bottom. It's a pop-up window. It's probably a little annoying. It's got my little ugly face on there going, hey, you need some help. I have to do that for some of the places I market my stuff. But that little pop-up is actually quite awesome because you log in and you can send me emails. And if we're both live and I'm monitoring, it's just like Zendesk. Well, you know, that's great. But then if I miss you, it's going to go to my email and i do not like email and I know nobody else does either so if you use my video chat lobby it's pretty awesome every day I just go in there and check normally about three o'clock Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time I'm always in there we have a kind of like a review videos and watch YouTubes and talk amongst group members and friends on Tuesday but anytime you can drop a message in there and it's not quite the same in private, like sending me a message using the little chat box. But if you have a question about something, like let's say uh, I have these Hudson Park sheets and I know their value, the price on them is, oh my gosh, it's so ridiculously high price. I think they're $89 for a single sheet or something. Okay, but you get, let's say you buy a case of these and you have a question. You're like, my gosh, I've got these are $89 a seat. I can't even sell them for $20 a piece on eBay. Why? Other people are selling them for $40 and $50. Why? Pop a question like that into my lobby. Either myself or somebody that's in there snooping around <laughs> or a group member is going to say, oh, I know why. Roger has a blog about that. Here, here's the link. Or go look on this page. There's the answers there. Or, Aren't you a helpful tips member? Spend $5. All your answers are in there. <laughs> Basically, I'm peddling all my services in a roundabout way for 5 bucks. But that's not actually true. What it is, is I have that page. We're going to talk about that. Let's go ahead and move on. Ooh, I banged this thing. Let's go ahead and move on. And we're not going to do question and answers right now. Let's go here. Since we're talking about the live show, we'll do our update here. Uh, so this this is, it, it's a little it's a little convoluted, but this is kind of how it works. The helpful tips page, the helpful tips page, um, and we'll just go there. The Helpful Tips Ecom group page. Now that link that you see popping up great big in your face, you can click that and you cannot get in there unless you go to either services or website pack where I have everything for sale and you select Helpful Tips for five bucks and you buy it. That's it. Then you should, fingers crossed if I have it all set up right, you should get a thing where you get a membership and then when you hit that page, it's going to ask you for your 
email and login for the membership. Same sign in probably that you have on my site. Of course, I can't do this. It won't let me buy my own membership. I tried already. <laughs> PayPal says, uh-uh, you can't do that. <laughs> I tried. And they said, you're trying to test your thing, aren't you? And I was like, yeah. They said, no, you can't do that. <laughs> so it wouldn't let me do it. But hopefully that's working all right. So if you guys get in there, then what you'll see is on that page is just, it's mammoth. And it's going to be even more mammoth. It's going to load really slow and stuff. But that, that, who cares? It's a huge library. At the bottom is, I don't know how many tools, what, 50, 40? I don't know how many I put in. There's a lot. All free that will let you do just basically anything you could possibly need to do if you have a website or even if you're just marketing or even if you just want some extra tools and gadgets that you can do in your normal business and uh, ventures. So all of that is five bucks at Helpful Tips and it's access to a page that I update all the time. Plus there's a little chat window in there separate from the lobby. It's just for those page members. It's just a text chat window. But there's a little chat window in there that if you have a question separate, so to speak, you can ask it in there. Uh, in other words, if you want it a little bit more, even more private than the lobby. Oh, by the way, I erase that lobby pretty often. Uh, I don't leave things in there. Once all the messages have been answered and all the links have been looked at, I delete it because I don't want it filled with a bunch of junk. The stuff that I'm going to fill with junk is the helpful tips page. So when someone asks a question in the lobby and I answer it with all these great answers and stuff, chances are if I feel that that was useful information that someone would want in the future, I'll copy that and I will add it to the helpful tips page in one of my sections or other. So it's ongoing and it's good already. I mean, it's really good guys. There are people that charge huge amounts of money to give away a fraction of what I have in there. But I'm using it as part of my business's tools. In other words, when you get a website for me, free or paid, everybody becomes a Helpful Tips Ecom Group member in a roundabout way. You have access to that page. I have an elite group, but that's another time we'll talk about that. But everybody... Everybody that gets anything from me, a free website or whatever, I recommend you get the $5 Helpful Tips Access because it gives you all the answers for everything you need. You can get your free websites and all that stuff from Strikingly and my assistance totally free without buying the Helpful Tips membership too. But you're going to have a lot more studying and work to figure things out. I will help you along the way though. And I'll do all that for free anyway. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's worth the five bucks, guys. Um, now, if you're buying any of my services, the first thing you do is you get the helpful tip site because that is where I am going to give you your stuff. Okay. So like if you're getting a website and you're going to schedule a Zoom conference with me, you're going to be doing it on the helpful tips page. If you're sending me emails and messages, I'll schedule you in when I get to you. <laughs> in other words, you're going to need that helpful tips page for any projects we're going to do, and you're going to want to use it anyway. Uh, so that is totally different than what I've done in the past. Totally different. I'm not messing around with social media, Facebook and all that. Uh, I have all the Twitter and all that stuff, but I don't mess with it that much. I'm doing everything on my own site because I'm too busy to be going here and there and looking things up. All right, so we've talked about that for a minute. Let's see here. Let's go back here. Uh, wrong one. All right, if anyone has any questions about anything I've been talking about so far, feel free to ask me or any questions about anything whatsoever. Feel free to ask me now because we are going along about 23 minutes live. So we're going to be ending here fairly, fairly soon. Not really, really soon, but fairly soon. So if you have any questions, this would be the time to ask. Now, one of the things I promised I would tell you about, we can go back to question. Oh, oh, that's a poll. 
one of the things that uh, I was talking about, we remember what we were talking about the key web code sites with that background image and all that invisible stuff where you can see through it and it changes. Now, what is all of that stuff? Remember, I just got through telling you guys the only products now I have tons of products, years worth I can sell. I'm only selling those on Mercari and Poshmark at leisure just to get rid of them. Um, every so often I'll run across the deal and buy it, but that's it for my e-commerce as a reseller. I have plenty, so there's no reason to go get any more. And I'm not doing any of the major platforms, no Amazon, no eBay, because the, the prices are just ridiculous and the search engines are laughable. That's why we're so much conversation about websites and my services. I've discovered that I didn't need all of what I was dependent on for years and years and years and years. I knew I did, but it becomes easy to just let their search engine, their stuff do the work for you when it's just as easy to do it yourself. It takes longer to develop, longer time, more patience, much less money. So I started making websites for other people, much smaller ones. See question above. I'm looking for the $5 sign up. Where is it again? Well, it's real easy to find. Let me show you. I did not see the question. So we are going to go there. Uh, we can go there. Let's just go to keywebco.net. It keeps jumping me to keywebco.com. That's what I was working on earlier. So you hit keywebco.net. And you're going to scroll down. Well, actually, you're not going to scroll down. You're going to hit the menu because I'm on mobile device. You can hit the little menu that pops up. And you're going to scroll down to where it says services. You're going to click where it says services. And it's going to take you to a listing, which is going to take a moment to load. Yes, I just got through redoing the site. <laughs> and I'm using Safari. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's taking a while. All right, come on, gosh, turn it. Here we go. It's jumping around, it's loading, loading. Yeah, are you done jumping? All right, here we go. And then you're going to go down to where it says select. You see where it says select? It's in the listing. Yeah, there's the picture of the website services. And here's where it describes and tells you that you can buy it. And then you go down to where it says select. And you click the button. On PC it's a little different. but And you'll see where it says helpful tips. And it will not let me buy it. But I would hit done. And you would hit the buy now button. Let's see. It might, it might let it pop up. Yeah. It would hit the buy now button. And then it's in your shopping cart. Now, if you were going to buy anything else from me, you would hit add variation. And then you would go to, let's say you were going to buy a basic website. So you would click basic website. You would do that first, even if your intention is to get a pro version. Then you would go down. If you're going to buy a pro version, you would click on the pro website upgrade and add that to the cart. Then you would not need, you need to read, see the, all the writing's not in there very well yet. That's, that's happening this week. Then it has an upgrade graphics. That is an extra option. If you are getting a pro website, I create you custom graphics. Isn't that nice, right? Uh, it'll be much better and easier to read once all the writing is all kind of redone. It is a little clunky. Uh, I, I have, I'm just now formulating it thin. If you notice, the site is half the size that it was yesterday. I'm getting rid of everything except the little window in the middle because that's all it needs. Uh, then the other thing, since we're already here, we'll go over it. I was going to go over it later anyway. Uh, the other thing that I have is video ads. Again, if you are buying a pro version upgrade, I give you one ad. But if you want more, you select these other packages also. But you don't have to. Once you hit pro, you don't need to upgrade your graphics unless you want me to do them 
for everything, Twitter and Facebook and uh, whatever, SoundCloud, whatever you're using. And I'll do them all. Video ads, again, the same thing. You buying five ads at a time as a moth. Uh, five backlinks per ULR. That's dirt cheap because I use a machine to do it. <laughs> I just tell you flat out. You want me to manually do backlinks? I'll, t I'll send you to a service. That's that's a lot of grunt work. Uh, you can get done done pretty cheap. Uh, cheaper than I'm going to spend the time to do it. But I'll give you 50. I'll, first, I'll show you the tools on Helpful Tips that I use, one of them. And I'll give you 50. It's the same thing that the, the tool does. I'll do it for you for that real cheap price. If you want me to do more, I will show you how to do that and I won't charge you or I'll refer you on to a service. Certain things are not worth paying an expert for. You get just a maintenance kind of SEO experts, I think is a service that you use. And I'll tell you the difference. I'll tell you what's worth paying for and what's not. Most people want, they'll stick it to you any chance they get. Uh, add in five podcasts. For example, uh, let's say you are selling, I don't know, these, what are they? Uh, Hudson Park sheets. Let's say you're selling Hudson Park sheets and you have a Hudson Park website and you want in my podcast a short little audio ad. You can either send me one of your own or I'll record one for you. And I would put that in five podcasts along with my other paid advertisements. And I have a pretty good rate on that. Again, blog, same thing, five ads in a blog. And a video banner. A lot of people have me create video banners for them. I like doing it and they come out pretty nice. Uh, and of course, that's the rate. And a 2,000 word blog, that's at 2,000 words. Eh, I don't promote doing those too much, but I will do them on occasion. Uh, so those are the services that I have listed in there so far. There's a lot more going in that I haven't done. I'm just dying to use this, but I can't because it won't let me. If you notice, it says I have a coupon code in my checkout. One of the things that's coming in the very near future is any member of the Helpful Tips page that also subscribes at $5 a month. See, the page you get in $5, you're in. It's a membership. But if you also subscribe to the uh, Ecom Tips podcast, or Patreon. I'm trying to get rid of Patreon, but Ecom to Podcast or Patreon at five dollars a month, then it says I have a coupon code. I will actually create. I haven't done it yet, but I know how. I will actually create a percentile discount that everybody that subscribes gets off on any of anything that they order. Not products, of course, but anything that they order. From my services so those are just some of the things that are coming now that's a very brief run through of what i am actually doing and like i said i'll show you what it it says now let's see if it shows it done Hold on. all right i want to get out of that view more details when you go to view more details it has it pop up with all this option one and read this and all the all that's being removed okay uh, it's good to read. That's great information. And I will have some of that in there. But most of that stuff is on the Helpful Tips page. So there's no reason to put it in the listing. So that extra space without having as much reference information is where I'm going to put a more definitive. This is what you get for this service. And this is how you upgrade. Uh, all that is being done this week. So I'm, I'm actually really excited about it because that is Key Webco. That's what Key Webco has always been, to be honest with you. I did all the eBay and Amazon and all that other stuff. I did all of that to make buckets of money. But my business has always been Key Website Company. That's what that stands for. Key Webco, key to the web company, key website company. Then when I started doing products, because it was easier than that old DAS, DOS uh, website making. Ugh. <laughs> Never do that again. But uh, when I got out of doing the websites and I saw it was easy to make buckets of money on these platforms, uh, it became Key Webco with Dragon Deals. And I added Dragon Deals uh, to the company and actually I added the dragon key webco used to be a key stuck in a web 
I have got to find my original graphics. They were just awful. Just awful, guys. I, I can't even tell you. You know what? I will find some of my original graphics because I know in Canva, I actually have some. I saw one the other day. But it, it wasn't too hideous. It was just a real simple big spider web. And then I had a skeleton key in the middle and CO. And the skeleton key was the K Webco. So it, it wasn't too horrible, but compared to what I do now, it was crap. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that is me. I talked a lot about my website. Now, I did promise you guys I was going to tell you how I did something. Now, you notice on both, the one that's really loud, go to keywebco.com. That's where all the products are. It will take you forever to scroll down all those pages of products to find my services. Now, why does it take so long to scroll down and find even my header for KeyWebCo when you get to KeyWebCo.com? Why did I design the, the website like that instead of having it more like KeyWebCo.net where all that heavy code is down in the bottom? Why? Is keywebco.com just products in your face? You're enrolled. Awesome. Did it actually let you in? Did you see the page? Uh, you'll have to tell me what you think. Now, I'm not done with that page, and it's probably loading really crappy. Uh, it's all good. Do you see all that information? And I have just started. You may notice. Let's, let's go ahead and get out of that window. That's going to get on my nerves. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Sorry. And yeah, that gets on my nerves, too. Let's do this one. No, I know it says video chat lobby, but no, that, well, it's okay. It's kind of off topic, but it's, it's black. It's not quite so obnoxious in your face. So let's talk a moment about the, the graphics, the, the reason why my sites are so extremely different. They're identical but extremely different. Keywebco.net has the header, no code at all, except for meta tag and all that, but no codes at all in the header that are visible. Not even an ad. Because when you go to keywebco.net, you are going to my business. Boom. That's what I want you to see. I want you to see Keywebco, and I want you to see that I have services. Then I want you to see that big blue bar that goes across the middle. And you're going to see, my goodness, look at all this stuff. It's too much, actually. That's why my website doesn't stop on the web page. I offer way too much for me to even begin to go when you are on keywebco.net and say, look at this store, this store, this store, this store, this website, this blog, this service, this group, this uh, marketing technique. I mean, there's just too much. My daily edition blogs, my video shows, my embedded chats. How am I going to give everybody all that at once? no earthly way because I only have seconds to do it. So what do I show them at keywebco.net? Boom. Here I am. I have services. And by the way, check out how I'm a little different. I've got to do something to show them a little, little different than every other site. So when you get down to where my little map and all that is, where most people expect the bottom of the page, I say, hey, guess what? Most people end here, but I don't. Keep going. Keep scrolling down my page. So if they notice it at all, <laughs> which is only about 40% at most, they are definitely going to scroll past. That's an acceptable ratio for me. 25% is actually acceptable because I have huge volume. So if they scroll past, what are they going to see next? They're going to, oh yeah, here's that video chat he mentioned. And here's his streams. And oh wow, I can watch past versions of his daily vlog. I can watch past shows he's done. And then they go on at keywebco.net. Remember, we're at .net right now. They go a little further and they see this little 
gallery thing, which those are hideously ugly galleries, but that's what I have to work with. But the, they see these little gallery boxes with these little kind of like ads and apps stuck in between. So they're scattered down the page. Then they see, of course, all the traffic bars and different things that I have. So what happens is at KeyWebCode and they're like, okay, he's selling services and look at all those stores. And then if they manage to get to the bottom, they're like, oh, well, there's this chat and lobby and there's all his extra goodies. They will remember all that video movement, even if it gets on their nerves, they will remember all that video movement while they're looking at things. They will remember the site. They'll remember the dragon. That is what I want them to do. I want them to remember keywebco.net's name. I haven't tried to get a dime out of anyone yet. Okay. I want them to remember, see my shows, know I have the services and look at it, my websites and stuff, and then find out who I am if they make it past the bottom of the page. That's what that point is. Now, keywebco.com, you see absolutely nothing about me at all until you are almost to the bottom of the page. And then even after I have them go past the footer, I don't have very much more after that except for the videos. It's the same as the other one without all the extra products. The products are in galleries at keywebco.net because I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm trying to get them to know about my services because that's what I'm doing. But if they happen to go to my shopping site or hit any of the store links that are available on both sites, then I can make money if they buy anything from any of the plethora of affiliate stores. There's only two stores that I am actually selling the products out of my warehouse, and that's Macari and Poshmark. Redbubble is another store that I have in there that I don't have represented very well yet. I'm going to be adding that. Uh, that is where my brand actually has been being sold for years. And I don't make buckets of money, but I do make a little bit. So really, I'm on three platforms. Uh, everything else, no reason to spend the money on it. So that is what I am doing. And that is what, in the process of doing, I can help you guys enormously with your efforts, with what you're up to, with what you're doing. Because it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you are marketing an eBay item on a Facebook post, there are things and techniques that a website developer can help you or even a uh, traffic bar marketer. There's all kinds of free tools available in that. You've got to be careful about what you do and how you do it. But if you know what you're doing, you can actually make a little bit of money. And that's the last thing I'm gonna talk about my own websites and then we're gonna move on to the last uh, window here. You can make money, uh, not buckets, most people, you see these little spammy ads. I'll oh, make $800 a day. Yeah, right. If it was that easy to make $800 a day, everyone would be laid up and not doing anything but making $800 a day. So don't believe the stuff you read. Believe the stuff that is real. And that's why when you go to my make spammy make money page, because it is sent out amongst the market. I call it spammy, but I don't spam it. it it's designed to do what it does. But... When they hit my page, I am getting enormously higher percentages of people actually scrolling down the page than when they are hitting the standard page that looks like everybody else's. Well, that's really important to me. In the amount of time that I have been marketing these sites, has been I've been 2015. I made the site that you're the .net, and 2019 just now. I made, or it's last year when I started it, I made the keywebco.com, even though the names of the, the domains have changed. The actual web pages are very young and keywebco.net has been completely redone. And that brings me to the last little bit I'm gonna talk about today. The blogs. The blogs that I'm doing at keywebco.net are all being redone. I closed down Shopify. I had Shopify years ago and I closed it down and I took on and rewrote all the blogs. Then I opened Shopify again years later, closed it down. Now I had to rewrite it all over again. 
fortunately for six months I have been preparing to close it down because it's not profitable um, well it was for a while but not enough and um, so I am rewriting all of the blogs updating them making them copyscape and professional in much better than they were especially some of the old ones some of my older ones are pretty basic and pretty crappy. So all of the blogs are being redone. And they're going to be redone in a format that I can easily PDF them and make them into ebooks and uh, or into a ebook. All of my e-commerce stuff is going to be one ebook, and then all the recipes and stuff like that. Do it yourself is going to be another. And then uh, I am going to do the biography thing, but I think it's going to be in the end of all the books it's easier that way uh but we'll see how that all goes so everything i'm doing this year is taking this new website design that i've done marketing it very similar than how i marketed products at keywebco.com even though it's affiliate mostly and then marketing the websites and services at what was has always been my primary website in a massive way because I have huge numbers on these sites I'll give you an example I had a hundred and three people I think uh, check out my site the net today I don't know dot coms numbers those are probably very small like 30 or 40 but not very many I can get those to quadruple in six months but I'm not even gonna bother people go what, what? why would you say that why are you not going to because there's no reason to until I get those blogs all redone it's the same old dead site it's not dead it's the same old dead blog that I wrote in 2015 but once I go back and I totally redo the entire blog and then republish the updated version that means it will not be published in 2015 it will be republished now five years later then after i've done that all of the history of blogs i have and i have hundreds hundreds and hundreds after i've done all of that then i'll be ready to market keywebco.net and com in its entirety so i have one more year left to my business plan to be done i am almost guys you you have no idea how ready i'm ready to jump out of my skin i am days away days away from actually being done with all of my website design all the text and everything that's going to be in there some of the major text is going in uh, this week and that's for that uh, of course for the listing and my biography is being done this week too so um after that is done the only thing left on my website is the blog and then ebook and i am done that is the final steps of my business plan that i have designed for this business and it's only been oh what 12 13 years to do it <laughs> But I am very patient and I planned it all along. Now, of course, many things are written in pencil. Many things have changed and adapted. I am three years behind schedule due to the uh, search engine change on eBay. The last two years were messed up. If I didn't have the last two year drama with eBay, all this would have been done two years ago. And I probably wouldn't even be on eBay then uh, two years ago because I should have bowed out then, but I didn't. All right, well, that's enough of my history. I've talked a lot about e-commerce. I hope you guys will take the time. I have not even covered a fraction of the buttons on my site, but take the time, look through there. I have a little adjustments to do. It's pretty much done, pretty much done. Uh, look through uh, uh, the design and you'll understand why it's all products in your face at one and all who I am at the other because they're two completely different goals but they work like they're one website they look like they're one website sort of uh, when you're clicking in between like if you are at keywebco.net and you click over to the shopping do you need to reread the header again no most people are going to find me where my blogs are that's keywebco.net 
where the site has been around since 2000, well, it's been longer, but 2015. So I'm using every tool that I've got in the way it was developed to be used. And some of it has changed dramatically. As a matter of fact, the red bubble thing I was telling you about, that was my original Shopify. I had, oh, I don't remember, 1,200 different products in there. I mean, designs. And then all the variations of all those. One day I decided, you know what? The overhead and effort is too much. It's not profitable. Boom, closed it. Me and three other people were working on it all together. I said, up, nope. I did the numbers. It's not good. They said, close it then. Fake. That was it. All that work. Years worth of work. Boom, gone. I'm pushing the button. I tell you that last story only because you need to know when you are an e-commerce or a business person in any way, shape, or form, the only thing that you can count on is that you're going to have to do more. And when you think you've done everything there is to do, you're going to find out there's more you can do. And after you've actually done, like I just said, I am days away from being done. You notice I'm done. I could leave it. I could just let the blogs, which are doing great, they have comments and all kinds of stuff. I could leave them be, they're still good. Or I can do more and then I can take doing more and making it into even more. And that is what it's about. You have to do everything like everybody else does, but do it better, do it in a bigger way, do it in a more detailed way, do it in a more creative way. Doesn't matter how you do it, just make sure you do more. And that's my final statement for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me while I rattle on and on and on a little bit about e-commerce. Now, we will be on again Tuesday at that chat lobby that I was discussing earlier at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Helpful Tips members are there. It's a great time to pop in and say hello. Uh, uh, if you have any questions or you need anything, one place that you may want to take a peek at, one of the little secret surprises that all of my key webco sites, it's very down at the bottom, all the way down past the footer, past the videos, past almost everything, but the little ads at the bottom, you're going to see a little box that says network, mighty network. It has the curtain kind of like my uh, beginning of the show, the helpful tips, mighty network. Join that because really anyone that is going to get into the upper echelon groups, the Helpful Tips private uh, executive group, that's where you subscribe and you get in. So you can subscribe to the Ecom Tips podcast and Patreon. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get into the executive group. All of that is at the Mighty Network. And after I am done with my sites and I'm done with my blogs, Every blog, every flip, everything that I do, not only is going to be kind of backed up on the Helpful Tips page, it is also going to be my reference library on the Mighty Network, which is actually quite impressive. It's not good now. It's got some old stuff. It's got some new stuff in it. It's okay. But when I am done, the reference material at the Mighty Network is going to be better actually than the blogs themselves because they'll be organized into the structure kind of eventually what's going to be in the book can you tell i overlay every project i do <laughs> all right well perfect finds has it right come join us anytime in the morning you can always go to the key webco networks of any any place i'm on the key webco network you can always go there and catch me on my live streams in the morning if you log into twitch or d live or Periscope, there's another one too, Mix, I think. You can leave comments that appear on the screen just like Perfect Finds is doing over there at Twitch. And I'm gonna do one more time at DLive because uh, I've actually been getting quite a bit of traffic over there. Uh, and I like the network. You're only live when you are live on DLive. There's no pre-recordings, there's no, they only catch you when you're live. If they like you enough to look for you, you get followers and I actually have some. That means that they'd like what I'm doing over there because I'm one of very few that do it, I think. All right, so I'm gonna tell everyone to pop in to Key Webco anytime and use our 
whoops, it would help if I spelled it right. R. Air. <laughs> Chat lobby. Alrighty. There we go. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone that took the time to come in tonight. Not, not too many did, but we've got a few people peeking around. And my video upload of this will happen. I will do that tonight. And it will probably be live by tomorrow morning at YouTube. Which means that this will also be in the bottom of my page in the uh, collection of past show so that's kind of cool too might have a little drama at the beginning because my stream did get disconnected and we are at one hour 12 seconds so i am right on time for my hour mark i want to thank everyone for coming in tonight and here are the final credits